Crazy Bill here today. Today we're going to be talking about how to wire up multiple LED light strips on multiple shelves. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you my process. Hey, Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today was not a planned video at all, guys. I started putting these LED light strips on my shelf and I thought to myself, Hey, I'm sure there's lots of people out there that would like to know about how to wire up multiple light strips on shelves. Now, some people think it's an easy process. I'm talking about planning and I'm actually soldering these. So I wanted to share with you basically how I solder them and how I plan out where I'm gonna go. This was a seat of my pants kind of video, so bear with me. I'm gonna show you what I got done so far. All right, so far I got that light strip. There is adhesion on the light strip on the back and I soldered it to that end right there and wired behind this frame here and brought it down to a power brick right down there with the receiver and it has two ends. It has this end and I soldered this end. Don't plug it, it's a little prong thing like that and I soldered it onto that and I plugged it into it. And that's how that's gonna work. And right now I'm working on this shelf. Okay, so the light kit that I'm using is a standard light kit. They're all basically the same, especially if you get the RGB type of light strips. Basically there's four connections. In this case, 12 volt connection. And then there's the red, green, and blue. This kit came with the power supply and it came with two spools of 32 feet. So I have a lot to work with. And so far I'm only working with one spool. How you know where to cut? Well, these little LED light strips give you where to cut. There is a little indicator you see right here that's an indicator of where you can cut this is also where we're going to be making our solder joints for this light strip there are connectors you can buy if you saw the video of me setting up my desk I use the connectors I did not have very good luck with them and I'm not using the connectors I decided just to solder these so I'm going to show you how to solder them you can figure out how you want to connect them but basically what I did was I put the power supply down here because it would hit that shelf and this shelf and then from this shelf I'm gonna go up along my light box and I want to put a light strip in the back of the light box on top of there and I also want to put a little light strip on the back of that as well so what I did was I just ran this across the shelf where it landed with the scissor cut on the edge is where I did it so some of them are a little shorter some of them are a little longer but the point is you will get them all lit case in point this light strip is supposed to go across the top of this right here and as you can see it comes off a little bit now I could go shorter I don't want to so I'm gonna let it go off to the side a little bit and give it a little bit of a lighting effect I think it'll be fine if not, I can always cut it shorter. Looks like it's in spans of four inches. So I didn't want to lose too much on that. I might change this again once I start building it. Let's get over to the soldering station and I'll show you this cable is what we're going to use to attach it. And it has the 12 volt, which is the black and then green, blue, and red. Those are for the individual colors. Now this does do white as well. It combines all those colors together to make white. So let's get over to the soldering station and I'll show you how to solder this on to your LED light strip. All right, so you have two ends. This is the end that's gonna go back to, out to the power supply, and this is the end that's gonna connect the rest of my LED light strips. So I am putting some flux on there. Big old chunk of flux, leave that on there. And I'm gonna take some solder, it's just some solder I had laying around, it's probably too big, but that's what I got and that's what I'm gonna use. Take my soldering iron and I'm gonna heat up the pad. And it's that easy. Now, just a quick tip. The reason why we use flux like that is once you heat it up, it goes onto the part and it makes the metal want to bond to anything that's metal in there. So now when we go over this like so, I can just do the pads very easily. Bam. Not the best solder in the world, but for years I didn't use flux and it made my life a living hell. Next, we're gonna take your wires and we're gonna strip them. I just take a pair of dikes. So the first thing you wanna do is you take your wires and you're gonna make them even. Boom, we got them all even now. We're gonna separate them individually and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them and we're gonna just gently put some pressure and then move up. And then that's it, that's how you're gonna do it. So we're gonna do it to the rest of these now. Once they're stripped, what you wanna do is just twist them 
All right, so now we have our wire strip twisted. We're gonna add some flux to them. We'll just dip them in there, flux in them. There we go. Grab your solder, grab your soldering iron, touch the wire first, and then add your solder. All right, so I don't know if you, you guys noticed it or not, but on here there is a 12 volt, a B for blue, an R for red, and G for green. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and set up these wires to go in that format. We're gonna start at the top and then work our way from the bottom. All right, so now we're gonna start with the green. Give it a second to get tight, there we go. Now we're gonna go for the red. Okay, and now we're gonna go for the blue. All right. All right, sometimes you gotta stop and get yourself situated because stuff isn't working out. So let's get this bad boy to hold that for me. We'll just line this up. All right, nice tight connection. I'm gonna hook three different lights together. So I spliced three different cords so that way we can make it go to three different areas. And I'll show you what I mean as we go on in this video. But just to give you an idea, three connections soldered together. So you could just solder those together. I did that splice where I made them go off into two different directions. So now I'm plugged it up. I'm gonna test to see if it works. All right, it looks like it works. We got the long strip right here we got the top piece that's going to go across the top of that and then we got the little shelf piece so now what i'm going to do is so these don't touch i'm going to tape them up with some electrical tape and i probably could have done that neater but for the sake of time it's always the sake of time all right so now we're going to take the sticky side off the light strip you want to be careful with this because once you take the sticky side off and you put it on this this type of shelf it will lift off the famica whatever the heck is on some kind of paper that covers this shelf so you want to make sure when you're doing it you're Lifting and moving with it. Alright, so I plugged it up just to make sure it looks good. There's gonna be stuff on this shelf if you've watched my videos that'll cover a lot of the light strip, but it'll still give it that beaming look. Alright, next we're gonna take the rest of this stuff and start putting it on there. I'm gonna take all this stuff down, so I'm gonna do that right now. Also a good time to dust off some shelves. Ew. All right, so I think that's pretty much done. I just gotta hide up some of those wires and we can start putting stuff back on the shelves. But that's pretty much what I wanted. Now to hide that wire just a little bit better, I'm gonna be using this conduit. It's plastic, it'll stick to the wall, and this is removable right at the top. So I got it for right about here. I think that's how much I need. I'm gonna cut that and work on it from there. Cut it. This comes off, it's a sleeve. Put the wires in. The wire is pretty nice. Still not the prettiest in the world, but not unless you want to drill into the wall. That's what you're gonna to have to deal with. I'm gonna get all this and this and that stuff back on the shelf.
putting up all this stuff. I did not realize what a nerd I really am. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Whatever, I enjoy it guys. And I'm sure if you watch my channel, you enjoy it too. I think it looks really good behind me for when I do my videos. Let me give you a quick rundown of what the wiring looks like, just so you guys have a reference. So I got it hooked to a smart plug. Then we have this device here, which is connected to the first set of strips, which connects all behind that shelf, then runs up behind here, and then runs up into this light box, just hit the wires there, runs all the way up across the top of this, and has a side wire going over across there, lighting up this shelf. Then back to this again, we got this one going up to the picture, behind the picture, underneath the shelf there, which leads to this light strip on top which does a really good job. And here's a shot in the dark, just to show you how it lights nicely. Gives it a nice glow around everything. Works out really well. Now, if you're a fan of the show, you definitely know that I like my smart home things. So I did hook this up to an actual Alexa plug. So I did do this. Alexa, I'm leaving the office. Parting is such sweet sorrow. You will be missed. <laughs> Alexa, I'm in the office. Hello, William. I hope I put everything to your liking. So everything activates with my Alexa app. When I come in here, the whole office turns on with one little word. It was a really fun project for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. I wasn't planning on filming this, but I figured, you know, some of you might want to know how to do this. So I went ahead and did it. That's it for me, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell if you want to see my videos. You want to get notifications to see the videos. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. I really am a giant geek. It's freaking awesome. I know what you're thinking. Crazy Will's tech show's over. What do I do now? Real simple, guys. You hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button and then you check out my other videos. It's not over. I made a lot. It's been a good year.